Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayden and the Lower Lights Devotional. I saw somewhere where this coming Sunday, September 18th, it's dubbed Back to Church Sunday. And I guess it's that same toward those that have been out of church, maybe missing church a lot because of summertime activities, vacations and all of that. Just kind of be glad to get everybody back together and back to church after the big final blowout of Labor Day weekend and things kind of settling down in a routine at uh, home and, and school. And so maybe it's just a good time to remind people that they need to be back to church. But I have an idea there are a lot of people that haven't just been missing church because of vacations and summertime activities and and all of that. I think that there are a lot of people that have just kind of drifted away from the church. A lot of people that have kind of dropped out of the church for some reason or another. I find that uh, sometimes people do just kind of drift away. You miss one Sunday and uh, you know it's not so hard to miss the next Sunday then is it? And after a while well, you found out that you've become more accustomed to staying home on Sunday than you are to going to church on Sunday morning. I uh, met up with a guy one time and and he said, I used to go to church here. And I said, what happened? Well, I don't know. I guess I just kind of drifted away. So I guess that happens, doesn't it? People drop out of church. They get their feelings hurt or get a little bit disgruntled about something. Something doesn't just go their way. And so, you know, you don't play my way. I'll just take my toys and go somewhere else. And a lot of times, well, they just don't go anywhere. So you've got those that drift away and those that drop out. And uh, I think that we've got plenty of those everywhere we look today. And so I know that uh, it'd be a good idea that if you're one of those that have drifted away or dropped out, it'd be a good idea for you to give some serious consideration to get back to church. And there are several reasons why you ought to do that. First thing is it's a wonderful means of God's grace that he has given for us to draw closer to God and to learn more of his ways. I just thank God for the church today and the influence that it's had upon my life, the impact that it made upon me, and I am what I am today because of a church that uh, taught me in the way that I ought to go and a church that enabled me to know God uh, just a little bit better. So, you know, we, we find it a means of grace and every means of grace that God has given to know more about him and to draw closer to him ought to be taken advantage of. But for lesser reasons even, you need Christian fellowship. If you're a child of God today, if you're a believer, you find your fellowship is not with this world. We need the fellowship of others of kindred spirit. We need the fellowship of those of like faith. We need the mutual encouragement that we can find through that fellowship. And we need to benefit from the example that we find in others and the influence that they wield over us. And I just thank God for Christian fellowship today. I think the church is a wonderful place. And oftentimes I say the Lighthouse Chapel is a place to meet with God and friends. And your brothers and sisters in Christ, you can discover them to be the very best friends that you ever know. So I think that's two good reasons today that if you've dropped out or drifted away, that you ought to think about being back in church Sunday on Back to Church Sunday. It's a means of drawing closer to God, knowing more about Him, and it's a wonderful opportunity to draw strength and to uh, uh, be encouraged through the fellowship of good people. There are other reasons, and I might mention some of those on the devotional tomorrow, but for now, if you need to be back in church, Lighthouse Chapel has a welcome mat out for you, and we'll give you a warm welcome, and you'll be blessed, and, and I promise you, you'll want to come back again. Get back to church if you're a dropout or a drifter, and God will bless you for it. Heavenly Father, I have an idea of talking to people that have drifted away from the church or 
that have dropped out for some reason or another. Lord, help them to realize the means of grace, the benefit that they can receive from regular worship. And help them to realize, Lord, that there's so much mutual strength and encouragement through the fellowship of brothers and sisters. Now bless us who have the remaining part of this day. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. All right, I always enjoy sitting down with you for a few minutes. See you tomorrow on Lord Light's Devotional here with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now. <laughs>